Exercise number one is our stability ball rollings. So as you can see in the video, I'm holding a strong press up position with my feet elevated onto the ball behind me. My laces, my ankles are pressing down on the ball and from there I'm rolling my knees into my chest but keeping the upper torso completely still and stable. So the only movement is coming through the hips and knees, the ankles, the upper body is held completely still with that core braced. We're going to work for 30 seconds at a steady tempo. At the end of that period, we're now going to rest for a further 30 seconds before we go into exercise number two, which is going to be our straight arm holds. So for our straight arm holds, we're now going to be placing the ball at the top of the body. So we're placing our hands onto the ball rather than our feet. And we're going to hold a strong, stable press up position. There's no movement in this exercise. It's a pure stability exercise, keeping completely still and balanced, trying to minimize any wobble. So the arms are completely straight, supported on the ball, holding that strong position, trying to minimize any movement, bracing the core, staying strong throughout the entire body. At the end of 30 seconds, we then take a further 30 seconds rest before we go into exercise number three, which is going to be our stability ball roll-ins with a side twist. So this exercise is very similar to exercise number one. We're again going to elevate the feet on the ball behind in that press up position. But now as we roll the ball into the body, we're going to turn the knees out to the side. So you can see I'm flexing, I'm rotating, bring my knees over to the right side of my body. Again, keeping the upper torso nice and strong, nice and stable, trying to minimize any movement in the upper body, just working through the lower body, rolling the ball in and twisting through the core to bring our knees out to the right side. 30 seconds, steady tempo. At the end of the 30 seconds, we then rest before we go into exercise number four, which is going to be our stir the pot exercise. So for our stir the pot exercise, we're now going to support the forearms on the ball in kind of a plank position, but we're going to add a movement through the upper body. So I'm imagining there that I'm rotating around like I'm holding a pen between my hands and I'm going to draw small circles. And what I'm doing is going to draw two circles going in a clockwise direction and immediately go back into two circles in an anti-clockwise direction. So that stir the pot exercise, rotating round through the arms, through the forearms, the elbows, the shoulders, but keeping the rest of the body completely still and stable. Strong plank position, 30 seconds of that rotation movement. We then rest for 30 seconds before we go into our final exercise, which is going to be our stability ball roll-ins to the side, this time working to the left side of the body. So final exercise, back into that press up position, feet elevated, again, upper torso held strong and stable, 
rolling the ball in, bringing the knees to the chest and rotating out, this time to the left side of the body. 30 seconds, steady tempo. Upon completion of the final exercise, you can finish the workout there, or you can rest for one minute and repeat through the five exercises again. We recommend that you complete between one to three sets, depending on your level of fitness and time availability.